Hello everybody, this is uh, David from goldstartool.com and uh, um, in this video I'm pretty much going to uh, go over the um, difference between the brushless servo motor and regular servo motor. I have done this video I think um, before, I'm sure I did it, but I and I also have done this video many times when we have um, assembled um, sewing machines so but to the left right here we have a regular servo motor okay this is a regular servo motor and it comes with on and off switch already there is a fuse right here and so everything is done okay you get the plug for the uh, whatever you need to but people use it for LED damp for the LED lamps. Also you have the um, uh, direction switch right there. The machine comes with the ball joint. You see here, it comes with uh, all the tools and accessories that you could put the machine together. Right here, everything. These are, And I know I want to go ahead and tell you people how many screws you get and how many this and how many that, but this is it. You get the belt cover. You don't get a belt with the machine because different machine needs different belt size. You get washers, three washers, three screws, three bolts, and uh, three nuts and all that. And these are the cushion that goes here when you get it. So the machine will not shake. Very nice, very easy, done. You will also get uh, one of these clutches, which I don't call clutch, maybe brakes, which nobody uses ever. You don't need this. You get an extra fuse, it might come handy. And you get two brush. These are the two brushes. That one goes here and one goes to the other side. And this is only when you run out of these things. When there is already a set inside. But when you run out, you might want to replace them with this. Okay, we're good, Jasmine? Yes. The bracket that you see here is the same bracket that as every single sewing machine motors out there. Clutch, any brand, anything. You don't have to do any uh, modification. Okay, this is the bracket. Now, when you put the belt on, okay, and the ball joint goes obviously here, you might wanna adjust the machine by moving this up and down. Okay. The lower you go, the motor bends more back. So if your belt is smaller, or bigger you could adjust. The way it's gonna, it's not gonna have any effect on your sewing machine. It is not heavy, it's very light. So all you have to do up or down, if you have one to two inch difference in belt, when you're putting your belt on, you could just adjust this and you'll be good. The V-belt, regular V-belt. This is where the ball joint goes, the lever, and this is the speed control. So a lady called me yesterday and told me my machine doesn't make any noise. There is something wrong with it. So I told her that the sewing machine came with the uh, quiet motor, silent motor. And she was so happy, she didn't know. So, but this is a pretty much a speed control. Mm -hmm. But the way it is, it's, 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 you can really control how many. It's 3,450 RPM all the way to 350. But it can go 355 or 360 or 375. It's pretty much the way you adjust it. We use this for everything, for every, all type of machine. Very easy to install. And it's only a switch on and off, as you saw right here. And you just plug it in, and you could put in your LED lamp in there. So, you could use it on any type of machine. This is 550. Yeah. Can, you, 
can you zoom in here? Made by NewTake, model GC. What does it say? My Dash eyes. 550F. 550. That means it's 550 watts, right? Mm -hmm. 110 volt, power 550, and the speed is 0 to 30, what? 3600 RPM. Thank you, Jarpin. You're welcome. Okay, so that's one. That is. This could only do this. There is nothing else this motor could do. On and off speed control. This is it. If you want to know if you're using this motor for something else besides sewing machine, if you want to know the 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 um, the pulley that comes with is 75 millimeter, okay, and the male part, the shaft inside is three quarter inch inside here. If you guys want to use this for something else, so again, it comes with all the accessories, belt cover. This is one thing. So now. We're gonna move this back and we're gonna go to the brushless. This is the motor that you really wanna have if you're doing needle positioning for walking food machine and all different type of sewing machine. Why? First of all, it's, it's the same. Let's go over this before. It's a new tech um, sewing servo motor. The model is FX650, 110. Now it said 220 volt. I don't think anybody's gonna use it for 220 volt here in USA. 50 HD to 60, it's obviously made in China, uh, and it's 650 watt. It's more powerful than this one, much smaller, much lighter, okay? Uh, it works the same way, the same bracket, the same thing. Um, only you will have instead of the lever, you have this type of lever, which is the same exact thing. All right, now, it's much smaller, and when you wanna adjust, you could adjust the lever. I'm sorry, I'm moving it around <laughs> too much, and Jasmine is trying to zoom in and out with this one. All you have to do, if you want the belt, you have a smaller belt or a larger belt, and you wanna uh, adjust this, you use this big, huge bolt right here. All right, if you wanna take it out and take it down, you open this too. It comes with a 65 millimeter pulley, which has nothing to do with the uh, sewing machine. You could use that for any type of sewing machine again. It's very powerful. And this is also three quarter inside. Comes with a ball joint. Belt cover, obviously. And now the same accessory that it came with that one. Now, this one don't have a brush like the other one. So this is called brushless. Mm -hmm. Okay, usually more expensive. Uh, we have them in 550, 650, and 750 watts. Now, this machine comes with a control box, meaning that you could use on and off, okay? And you have in the bag, you have variety of um, female jacks or male jacks. One is obviously for the the motor itself to plug in to the electricity and one that comes from the motor that goes to the bottom. These ones, one of it for LED lamp if you need. You could also put LED lamp here, but if you have one of these that use a jack, you could use it here. And these two are for needle positioning, okay? Now, with this one, the speed is digitized. You could go one by one, from one all the way to 6500 watts, so one by one you could go up. This That's how you could go up and you could come down, okay? The direction is the blue one, direct going this way and the other way, and this is for needle positioning. If you have needle positioning, that stays up or stays down. This machine could do many, many, many different stuff. And, uh, uh, yeah, it comes with an owner manual for different type of machine to go one step or two step, stays up again, the needle stays down, how much uh, when you go out and down. And we're gonna put this on a pod right now, this video, and we're gonna go to a 1181 Juki. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I mean by podding and going up and going down. Okay, so. This is the Juki 1181.
All right? You have did many videos. And there is that same motor that I just showed you. I'm gonna turn it on. And it's on going this way. It's the right direction. If I wanted to go the other way, I just go ahead and put this one. You see, it started going that way, okay? And I may only this. If you want needle positioning, it's P up, P down, and off. Okay, you could have it both. Now, speed, see, from one, wait, from two, all the way to 45, up. Now, this is very small, very slow speed. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I mean right now by sewing. So people, see, when I sew, can you zoom in here, right needle? See, people, you wanna do only one stitch, done. Another stitch, done. Another stitch, done. Another stitch, okay? So, and here if you look, it could, see right now, I don't know if because of the video you could see this, but see, it goes out to three or four and comes back down. This is how much the wheel is turning to give power to this pulley right here. So, we talked about Speed reducers, I would not use any speed reducer on this machine that has these beautiful motors because it's gonna make the motor go crazy. But see, I'm going, if you wanna go corners, if you wanna do one, I'm doing one only, one at a time. Now, I could go this fast, but this is the fastest that I could go. Let me do the other way. See, this is my full speed right now. I could go higher, see? I could go higher as much as I want by pulling it up. See, I'm gonna go to 26, let's say half. And, you see, how This is high. But I could go low to number two. Number two, and this is the highest I could, faster I could go, this is the faster I could go. See, this is the fastest I could go. Now, uh, in for programming, there are other stuff that you could do if you're doing different type of stuff. Again, you could make the machine go only half or go full circuit whenever you put your feet on the uh, pedal. You could have needle position on it or a not a needle position. So this one doesn't have a needle position. Um, uh, this is going to a customer that doesn't want any that position. But anyways, the machine, the, while we are at it, um, if you're watching this video, this is a separate bobbin winder. Obviously the bobbin winder comes to the machine, but this is pretty much the difference between uh, needle position and, I mean, uh, servo motor and brushless servo motor. I hope I answered all your questions. Please give us a call at 1-800-868-4419 or www.goldstartool.com. Thank you for watching.